and welcome to Till Vacuum Do Us Part. Sorry if it's echoey, I'm in the new house and I'm so excited to finally share this empty home tour with you. I'm gonna go ahead and start on the front porch. So we're gonna start over there and then walk all the way through. So let's go ahead and get straight into today's video. Okay, we're gonna start by coming in the front door. There is a door right here. Basically, we did our walkthrough yesterday and you're gonna not be able to see it on camera, but this is all cracked. So I guess they're gonna have to paint this and get it in. But this is my entryway. I finally have one. I have this huge wall. It's kind of hard to tell on camera to put a table, like an entryway table and mirror, but I also have this one. So I went from not having an entryway to having like two spots. So I'm so excited about that. Um, so when you first come into the right, this is gonna be my office. So these are my doors going through. Um, I'm right here at the front of the house. <laughs> I showed a sneak peek over on Instagram and you guys thought this was a pool out here, but it was the front of the house and it was flooded. Like it was like a little pond. So it definitely wasn't a pool, but here's the light. All my lighting is from Amazon. So I'm gonna have that linked down below. So just click on my Amazon store link and you'll be able to find everything. Then once we move in, I'll show you all the pieces we've ordered new. Almost all of them are from Amazon as well. This is tile wood and I'm so thankful for it. This is what we were wanting in our next house just with George. He has scratched up our floor so bad. So I'm so thankful to have this. And then all of our walls are repost gray from Sherwin Williams. And then the white is alabaster, just in case you're wondering. Um, we finally have a coat closet. It's just like the little things. These should be like standard, but we didn't have them in our last house. So. Here is our coat closet right here. Has some little cubbies built in. I think I'm putting, gonna put like a little bench here so like people can set their purses and stuff, but I don't have anything yet. So if you were to go right, this will take you into my living room and kitchen, but first we're gonna start off down this hallway. So here is one of the bathrooms. It's got so much storage. Faucet's gonna be in our Amazon store. Um, as long like as as well as like the lighting um, So this will be Savannah's bathroom She's also got just like a huge closet in here So we went with like a lot of black and gold hardware So a lot of the bathrooms and the doors have black, but we also have like gold touches so right there up here it's kind of hard to tell on camera Okay, and one more thing before I move on, I forgot to mention this closet right here, which is in between the bedrooms and Savvy's bathroom. Um, we have a nice closet here as well. It's so nice, in our last house we only had one hall closet, so it's just so nice to have all the storage in here. So here is one of the bedrooms. This is probably gonna be Savannah's, but she keeps changing her mind. Um, the carpet is called granite. I have no idea where it's from, but just in case you see it. Um, and then the closets are really good sizes, as you can see. Like I can walk, it's gonna be really hard to tell on camera, but like I can walk all the way in them. Like they're huge. And I love that like all of this stuff comes standard with it. So like the way it's built out. And then there is a room across the hall, which is gonna be Chase's office. Um, it's got like vaulted ceilings and he's got his light in here, super tall. Um, I think it's like the exact same size as the other one, but it's got taller ceilings. And then the exact same closet right there. So I'm so excited just to get moved in here. Okay, so now let's walk into the living room. So once again, this is like where we came in. So that's the front door, my office, closet. This will be the hallway down to um, 
I'll show you this here in a second, but let's go this way because I'm super excited. So this is our living room. That chandelier is off Amazon and it's actually a really good price. We have all these windows in the back. This is like our little dining nook and here's the kitchen. So I'm not loving the pendants. I've already reordered these. These are from Amazon if you like them, but when we move in, we'll be switching those out. But like all this lighting, Amazon, Amazon, Amazon. Um, we went with Cadet Blue again on the island because we loved it so much, but we did go with a quartz. Um, Chase, are you in here? Yeah. What's our quartz called? White sand. White sand is what we went with. And it has like this touch of glitter in it, which I love. And it was builder's grade, so it wasn't like a upgrade at all. And then our backsplash was a nightmare. So we had chose subway tile at first and we were going to lay it different. And then I changed my mind, so I went and picked something else out. And right before he bought it, it was gonna be like a $650 upgrade for just like a tile. It wasn't even marble or anything. So I went in and switched it for this. They didn't even have this out, but I kept trying to describe what I wanted. And they had this for like clearance in the back room. It wasn't even out. So I'm so glad we found it. But I love the way that looks. Um, we went with our same knobs because I love them and then on the drawers we went ahead and went with these so it would match my TV stand. I was not planning on doing that but once we remade over the TV stand I decided to go ahead and do it so it would all tie in together. So like here is another view of the kitchen. This is like our little coffee bar and microwave. So it's just kind of a different view. And then while I'm on this side of the house, I'm gonna go over here. So we have another bedroom back here. This is probably gonna be the guest bedroom just cause it's the smallest. Savannah wanted it for a little while, but it is like the smallest closet and I hate for her to take that. But she liked being like in the back. So I'll show you this closet. It's still a really good size. Like it's bigger than her closet now by plenty, but um, it's just a little bit maybe narrower, but I can still fit in it like super, super, super easy. Um, so like I said, this will probably be the guest bedroom. And then I'll take you back down this hallway over here. Here's another view. So excited to get my stuff in here. Aren't those beams gorgeous? Oh, and then what I haven't showed you, I'm getting so scatterbrained, our fireplace. And all we have to do is go like this to turn it on. So I'm not super in love with this. This is exactly what we chose. You'll have to let me know nicely if you guys like it. We had it ran um, up and down instead of left to right. And I don't know if it's like the marble design I don't like or what, but I'm hoping like once we decorate in here, um, it's just gonna look better. It's not gonna stand out so much. But here is how it all looks. I'm so excited to have a place to hang our stockings. I've never had a real fireplace, much less the fire, so that makes me happy. And then on this side, so we're back like on that hallway. I'm trying to like make sure you guys know what I'm talking about. So right here we have a powder room. So it's just your typical, I wanna do something fun on this wall, something back there. Hello, I went with the gold. Um, same flooring throughout. So right here on the right is my office again. So do you see that same light? It's weird that there's not a door. I don't know if you can tell, it's super tall. Um, one day, I might like close that wall up and put doors and make that a closet. Um, like if you need an extra bedroom or for selling purposes or just so I have storage. I don't know if I'm gonna love not having a door for like when I'm doing voiceovers, but we will see. Okay, so we're back here. So left is the kitchen. Um, right here is the pantry. I finally have a pantry. And what's so nice, it's got this nice little thing that like when I open and close the door, it turns the light off. So it's in by no means like huge, but I haven't had a pantry. So to me, this is huge. I'm gonna be making a video on this very soon of organizing it and putting all my stuff in it. So definitely be on the lookout for that. Right now, all the builders just kind of keep all their extra supplies in here. And then my next favorite space, 
we keep going we're gonna turn right and it's my laundry room so you guys know i have like a love hate relationship with my laundry room it like functions and serves its purpose but it's so narrow it's so hard to film in so this is right when we come in from the garage and normally i don't like laundry rooms right off the garage but this one's so big and spacious and it has this built in it's absolutely perfect so i bought all new cubbies to go in here we have eight cubbies um i also had we paid extra to have this put in because this is where I'm going to hang my vacuums and I didn't like the quartz hanging down low. So they'll hang right there. I think the boys' water bowls and food are going to go. Not to even mention this tile. Is this not amazing? <laughs> like it's black and white and gray. It's so me. Um, and then this will be where the washer and dryer goes. Um, we ran out of knobs. I think they broke a few so they didn't put them in here. So we'll have to add them. But I absolutely like love, love, love this space and I cannot wait to decorate this like this makes me so happy I can't wait to just like come in throw my purse down I want to see Savannah's dance bag or jackets we have a storage up here this is where we can like hang dry clothes super super happy about this okay so now we're gonna go out so once again this is like the hallway we came down this is the kitchen so back around this corner is our master bedroom so you guys have had some sneak peeks of this if you follow me over on instagram if you don't follow me there you should be but once again um we did pay extra to have the floor come into here so it was supposed to stop right here and be carpet but since the boys sleep in here, Chase has like allergies and asthma, we wanted to just like bring the floor in. So I think it was like $500 extra. It was worth every penny. This is gonna be a whole new space. So everything in my current master is gonna go in our guest bedroom. So we'll be redoing this whole space. So that will be a video coming soon. And then on this side of the room, this is where we go into our bathroom. So it's got these beautiful barn doors. Um, we were gonna have them painted white and we went ahead and had them stained and I'm so glad. But we said, you know, if we didn't like the stain, we could always paint them, but I think we're gonna leave them because we love them. And then you walk into our bathroom. So we have our own sinks, tons of storage in this place hardware we chose the gold again um down here we had to use delta so they didn't have the matching gold so we went with a black but i'm gonna add some gold stuff down here i finally got a bathtub without jets i hated our bathtub with jets this hasn't been cleaned yet it's like they sprayed it and then forgot to come and clean it but i can't wait to just make this super cute i can actually sit right here in the tub and see our tv out here so i can relax super super excited about that it's also got like all these cabinets in here they're super deep like savannah could fit in these i know it's hard to tell when it's on camera but we have that before i show you other things i have all these cabinets over here so it's just so much storage let me open these up so we have uh, so many places to keep things, which is so, 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 so nice. I don't think you can have too much storage in a house. So I'm very thankful he put all those in. But now let me scoot back and show you. We'll go into my closet here in a second, but right here is our shower. And it's actually a walk-in shower, so there's no glass door to clean no glass door to clean i'm so excited i'm gonna get some cute hooks right here for our towels but you walk in and you turn it's like a big u and then you turn again and we have our, our whole shower here it's really hard to tell on camera and then like the handles right here so i can turn it on and get it warm before i'm actually like in it so i love this let me scoot back out so you guys can kind of see um, I'm just so thankful not to have like a glass door right there. And then you walk this way and we have like our water room for the bathroom, which I've always wanted these like in its own little separate area. So we have that. And then I've kind of been showing sneak peeks of our closet, but you'll get a better view here. Um, it goes super tall. We have these seasonal racks. 
So these are way tall up there. Like even Chase has a hard time reaching this part. The ceilings are so high, but you pull it down. Hey Chase, are you close by? Yeah. I'll have him pull it down. But then like if you're closer up here and we'll put clothes we don't hang all that often up here. But then when you do need it, say it's for a wedding or something, you just grab it and pull it down, take what you need, and then you push it back up. So I don't know, amazing. Now I will say for all the storage they gave us for clothes, like there's literally six racks on this one wall. This is all we got for shoes. So, so that might be a small issue will work out. Um, and then I did pick up a cute ottoman from Ross, like a round one to sit here. So when we're getting ready, you can like sit down and put on your shoes. Um, super excited. It's been years since we have shared a closet because he has so many clothes. You've missed me. But I think we have plenty of storage in here. <laughs> we haven't shared a bathroom in years. Yeah, it's been a long time. So, but I think this one can handle both yeah. of us. Oh yeah, so. we have plenty of room here. So yeah, just for size reference, I'll let Chase stand in there <laughs> so you can see. Tall ceilings, strike a pose. <laughs> now, he did say this was a mistake. Like they built the the yeah. wall wrong and this the storage wasn't supposed to be there, but. I think it was way too thick. I think it was supposed to be a thin wall. So yeah, but way too thick. I love it. I was like, I don't think storage is ever a bad thing. So yeah. I'm glad we have that extra yeah. storage. For sure. Okay, now I will take you back outside, but I'll kind of walk back down this hallway again so you can kind of get a feel for the setup. So there's our beautiful laundry room with a beautiful tile that makes me so happy. And then as you walk down the hallway, this is our pantry. This is the kitchen and dining. This is my office. Powder room. Back to the living room. This is our back patio and I'm in love. So our lot is smaller here. We had to go smaller to get a little bit bigger house. Um, and we were okay with that. We tried everywhere to find an acre. They don't even um, have them right now. I think that's why our house sold even easier. But our neighbors are getting a fence, so it might be loud. But look at this. Look how pretty this is. And we did pay extra to have the house painted white. Um, I did a sneak peek before it was painted and you guys were like, it's gray, it's so you. And I was like, yeah, but I didn't want to mention it wasn't staying. Um, it's really wet out here. Um, and we just had a saw to put in. Um, so I can't walk too far, but just to give you like an idea, I'll get back there one day. It is gorgeous. Um, they did put the gutter on the outside here and we will have to move that because like when you are from behind it looks like we're missing this beam so that's something we're gonna have to work on i already have a lot of like honeydews when we move in here and i'm hoping they clean this before we move in but we will see so i'm gonna bring um my big table out here the new owners kept like all of our sofas and any outdoor furniture minus my table i wouldn't let them have it because my dad made it and then we did pay extra again to add the outlet out here um, because we wanted to hang our tv again we loved having a tv outside but the only outlet was over here by the door and the windows um so it was like 45 dollars, which is totally worth it so we had that put in there and then I'll go show you the front real fast. Okay, so now we're back in my entry. Like I said, it may be a little loud because there's a lot of construction and our neighbors are getting a fence. Um, so this is our view from the front yard. There will be houses here one day, but I just don't know how far out. Um, they weren't supposed to landscape this, <laughs> um, but they did, which is totally fine. But I'll work on this one day. I would love to like hang a swing right here. I think it would be perfect but we have beams here again and a nice gable and then a beautiful light up there. And then I'll try to go get a view from the street right now. Okay, and the lighting is weird, but I wanted to show you like when we walk in through the garage, this is what we will see. So we're back in the laundry room with this beautiful built-in. 
And what's so nice is no matter where we keep George or the boys, everything is tile, which I'm super excited. Um, I don't think we know the color of this yet. I think there was a box up in the attic, so I'll tell you in a future video, but I'll try to leave as much information down below. Okay guys, so that's it. That is our home tour. I hope you're so excited to see all the videos that are coming your way. I have so much decorating to do and cleaning. We're gonna be doing all the room makeovers. I have to decorate for Christmas again. Um, so I'm really excited to share all those with you. Let me know what you think down below in the description box. I feel like it's so our style. Um, we cho keep choosing the same house, but we just go a little bit bigger every time. So even our first house that you guys didn't see was really similar to our last one. And I think this one, you just get that same vibe. I don't know, it just feels like home already. So definitely be on the lookout for lots of videos coming your way. I'm gonna be posting my same Sunday and Wednesday, and I'll try to get my vlogs back up really soon over on the vlog channel. It's just been crazy with everything going on. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you love it. Definitely hit that like button if you enjoyed it and give me a thumbs up down below in the comments section. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!